Dear colleagues, this is a hypermature Morganian cataract with fibrous anterior capsule and the patient is under topical anesthesia. The main incision has been placed. Now this is a side port on the right side of the main incision and this is another side port on the left side of the main incision. Now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. And only this air bubble I inject tripan blue dye 0.06 percent and we can see that there is wrinkling of anterior capsule and it's a large area so I'm going to have a tough time in doing capsular access actually I know that I will not be able to do capsular access Rexis means to tear I will not be able to tear it I will have to cut it I have to cut it with scissors to make an opening through which I will be able to do phaco emulsification now viscoelastic substance has been injected now I want to make a puncture on this capsule at a place where there is no fibrous tissue here it is yeah, but there is some fibrous tissue and it is resistant to tear however I have been able to make an opening and through this opening I have introduced a vana scissor and I could see that milky fluid came out and I am aspirating that milky fluid with a Simco cannula. So this is a hypermature Morganian cataract. This milky fluid indicates that it is Morganian cataract. And now I have taken the vana scissor again and I am cutting this side. This is actually a um, vitreous micro scissor, a micro scissor which is used in vitreous surgery. I am using that to cut this fibrous anterior capsule. Now I am cutting the inferior part towards 6 o'clock and then towards 5 o'clock and ultimately. I was able to cut it and I was able to remove this thick fibrous portion of the anterior capsule and it was removed by uh, uterita forceps. Now I am making a cut on this remaining capsule on the right side and I want to do some rexes here so that I can do fake emulsification without any pressure buildup on the posterior capsule. In this case, I have started fake emulsification and this fibrous anterior capsule usually doesn't extend to periphery and the posterior capsule is usually protected but this free floating nucleus it was difficult to chop it however I was able to hold it firmly with my FECO machine and I could chop it the beauty of this Oatly Catrix 3 is that it holds the nucleus very firmly and you can make a chop with ease. This free nuclear fragment is emulsified and removed. Now I rotate the nuclear nucleus, remaining nucleus, hold it firmly and 
chop it here. Fico power utilized in this case was 70%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Now I am almost through. This is the last part of the nucleus. There is no epinucleus so I have to be very cautious. Fortunately the antechamber is very stable. The posterior capsule has gone towards the vitreous and enough working space is there. And I have managed this free floating nucleus. And now I remove the cortical matter with a Simco cannula. I go through the side port and I remove the cortical matter. And after removal of the cortical matter, in this case I have selected a three piece, a multi piece intraocular lens because because if I use a single piece intraocular lens one haptic may come to the sulcus I want to place the lens in the bag and that will be possible if I use this multi-piece lens this thin haptics I'll be able to place in the bag, in the remaining portion of the bag and the lens will be nicely centered. Yes, the inferior haptic has been placed in the bag and now I dial the lens in such a way that both the haptics are behind the fibrous anterior capsular rim. Fortunately, in this case, the posterior capsule is not fibrous. It is relatively clear. The patient is under topical anesthesia and the patient is moving his eye at his sweet will. And now I have to remove the viscoelastic substance nicely. Lot of white flaky material sticks to the optic of this multipiece lens as it goes through the cartridge. This is sensor multipiece intraocular lens. No financial interest. And now I am almost through. I have removed the viscoelastic substance nicely. And now this is the bimanual irrigation aspiration. I am going behind the intraocular lens and irrigating the space between the lens and the posterior capsule to remove the viscoelastic substance. See the lens has been so nicely centered. It is because the multipiece lens, the haptics have taken shelter at the equatorial region of the capsular bag. I am using both irrigation and aspiration at this moment to remove the last amount of viscoelastic substance. Now I inject an air bubble and I don't need this air bubble, I am injecting moxifloxacin. Now I hydrate the side ports. 
I have used a bit of pilocarpine also in this case, just after moxifloxacin. This patient has a small pterygium. We haven't asked the patient to undergo pterygium surgery at this stage. This is the final wash. So, whatever the challenge, if we try, we can overcome any challenge. Unless we try, we don't know that we can do it. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Thank you for your attention. Please take challenges. Face challenges and be strong. Thank you very much.